This is an HRCT of 11 years old boy who presented with low grade fever, cough and hemoptysis. Now please observe typical findings of bilateral tuberculosis. I have made this video just to highlight an important finding. In tuberculous cavities, there are most of the times no airflow levels. The reason being that there is broad bronchial communication. Now please observe this cavity here and the quite wide open bronchial communication here. So all the exudates and pus, it is easily drained down into the bronchus so unless secondarily infected or there is hemorrhage inside it or this communicating or draining bronchus is occluded most of the times you do not find the air fluid levels now similarly in this large cavity here you find this broad bronchial communication here so all the pus which is formed inside it is expectorated out. So that's the reason why there is usually no air fluid level in the tuberculous cavities. While in lung abscesses where the bronchial communication is very narrow, there is an air fluid level. Similarly, please observe this bronchus here. This also opens into this cavity here this one here so the answer to the question that why tuberculous cavities usually do not have the airflow levels is because of their wide bronchial communications